Hey everyone, and welcome back to another day in my life as a data scientist. In today's episode, I'll be sharing what I've been working on over the last three months, how I use ChatGPT and leverage AI at work, as well as some tips I've learned from upskilling and prompt engineering that you can start using in your day-to-day. -day. If you're new here, my name is Vivian. I just turned 28 and I work at a growth marketing company here in Sydney, Australia. I used to work in finance, but then I pivoted into marketing in 2022 and I've been in this role ever since. I don't really have an appetite in the mornings, so I start my day off with an ice long black before heading into my bedroom where my work desk is. My workday usually starts at around 9am, where I give a text update to my team on what I'm working on for the day. Lately, my updates have been very similar as I spent the last few months working on a product that leverages AI to help generate insights and recommendations for our customers. And rather than you watch me work for the next two hours, I thought that I would share some more details about this project in case you were interested. So this all started out as an idea back in February of this year, where a few of us came together and had a brainstorming session on how we could leverage AI to generate faster and more relevant insights to help our customers grow their businesses. My team then took this away and spent a month just doing some exploratory data analysis and seeing what we could come up with. We ran a few sessions through our March and April to share our progress and gather feedback from key stakeholders before getting sign off on the key things that we wanted to focus on implementing for version one. And over the last month, we've just been focused on cleaning up the implementation code, testing that our insights are reliable and accurate, and getting our output into the correct format to insert into our database. I've learned so much during these last few months, and I'll share them very soon, but first let me join my team stand-up. So this happens every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. and we basically go around in turns to share our progress or our blockers. And since everyone in my team is someone involved in this AI project, we just talked about our next steps. Now this project was my first time ever connecting to the OpenAI API. And for those of you who are not particularly familiar with this, this allows practically anyone to integrate OpenAI's advanced capabilities into our everyday applications. So to get connected, all you need is the API key, which is basically your unique password that allows you to send requests to the servers, which will then process your data and return a response. After standup, I continued to tweak my prompts as I kept noticing that the AI output was inconsistent and sometimes inaccurate. I have since overcome this by giving AI just enough data it needs, leaving no room for creativity and mistakes. And it's very funny because my coworker literally sent through this screenshot. So yeah, please don't trust everything AI says just because they can sound very confident even when they're completely wrong. I then had a spontaneous call with my director about some data opportunities before finally taking a quick lunch break. I was craving something hearty and ended up making a tomato egg drop wonton soup. A meal like this is super comforting on a cold day. And I also added in some of my homegrown spring onions. I didn't take a particularly long lunch break as the AI was making more mistakes than I originally anticipated. So I just caught up on a few YouTube videos before making myself a second cup of coffee. This time trying a recipe I saw on TikTok using banana milk. It was okay, a bit different, but nothing too special. I'm returning back to work at 1pm for an uninterrupted few hours to debug, test and finalize my implementation code. As the output needs to be inserted into our database, it needs to be in a very specific format. So I've been working hard to get my dynamically generated insights into a JSON array. Lately, I've been relying on ChatGPT heavily to help me be more efficient at work. My most common use cases include generating Python code, debugging errors and suggesting alternatives, helping me write formulas within Google Sheets, making my code more efficient and adding comments throughout, explaining technical concepts, and even for my current project, I've been going to ChatGPT so much to help better structure and word my prompts to ensure that I'm getting consistent, specific output every single time. So some tips that I've picked up are to be specific and include details because the less guesswork the AI has to do, the better your output is going to be. You can specify the output format, assign a role, specify the word count, the tone that you want to hear, and also give examples because AI responds very well to format requirements. So you might hear this as few shot, which is just fancy for saying give a few examples to AI. There is also the option to fine tune your own custom models to your business's use cases. And I will be investigating this pretty soon. So please subscribe if that's something you would like to hear more about.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.